I know it's nighttime, but I raise betta fish in these containers right here. Also, I raise tree frogs. They all live together in here, and the tree frogs make sure there's no mosquito larva until the water's warm enough for bettas to come outside and get raised. Just a little hobby of mine. And um, I was looking in this big tub right here that somebody gave me. They wanted it t taken to the trash, but I used it. Um, and I was looking in here just, just, just to see, you know, what was going on at night. And what do you know, there was a, a poor baby hawk stuck in here. Um, it couldn't get out. Its little feathers were all wet, and it was just flopping around. It wouldn't have made it. And it just couldn't, it was trapped. It was awful. But I've got a nest that they have babies in, well, because I found a baby like this and I raised it when it had a broken leg and a broken wing and um, their parents got shot by the neighbor across the street he shot a lot of hawks he's now he died of a heart attack he was pretty heavy and um, ate a lot of meat and killed a lot of stuff but anyway so I just took this hawk out of here and I don't want anything to get it because it's defenseless right now and a lot of things could eat it because it's really, really is defenseless. But anyway, I, I put it up here in this tree on this branch. So I'll show it to you. Here it is. Hello baby. This is the baby hawk. It's wet, it's um, its feathers are all wet. So it can't fly yet. I only have one hand, so I can't really hardly reach this. But they're always, wild animals are always pretty tame. Oh, be careful. They're always tame to me. I've never been attacked by a wild animal. I never have to wear gloves. Um, they just seem to know that I don't have any intentions of hurting them. Probably because I don't eat any meat, and I don't have a smell of meat in me. But I don't worry about them biting me, ever any animal except I did get bit by a water moccasin the other day uh, it's cotton mouth when I was fixing the fence but it's because they're stand your ground snakes and they don't believe in backing off and I was fixing the fence shaking the wire and it was barbed wire and it just stood around and it probably thought I was going to hurt it because I reached down for the fence and grabbed the fence above it anyway so there's a hawk I just wanted to show you this little baby hawk is going to be all right now. I'm just real glad that I was out here tonight. I just decided to take a little walk out here with my phone as a flashlight just to water a few things because it was really, really dry. Good night, little hawk. Its mother will take care of it in the morning, but they can't see at night. Hello, Billy. This is the smartest dog I've ever had. He's really, really smart. He catches the goats. He does all kinds of things, I'm not kidding you, he just listens to me, he does everything I ask him. He's a super smart farm dog. Some would say he's a bulldog or a pit, but I got him from an orphanage and um, he's just a super dog, really love him. Billy, you're smart, he just always does everything I want him to do. Like I said, he can catch the goats when they're being ornery and they don't want to get back in the pen. And they're ready to go eat the vegetable garden. He's just a puppy right now. So anyway, that's what happened tonight. Good thing I went for a little walk to... I think I was... Just wanted to throw a little bit more water on something. That's what happened. We haven't had rain in a while. We had two floods this year. Two bad floods. We had... A deep freeze. It was below zero Fahrenheit. And then that killed a whole lot of stuff. And then we had a late freeze after everything was alive and well. So, so many things are coming back and I lost all the fruit. Anyway, it's too dark to, to have this movie anymore. So, I'm turning off everything.